The Libyan Digest. The Libyan Digest is brought to you by the Libyan Observer. Welcome everyone to the Libyan Digest, uh, our sixth digest for this week. As every week, we have new topic, new guests, and new information to add to everyone. Welcome. So uh, this is uh, a new uh, episode of our program, the Libyan uh, Digest. As usual, we in every episode we we have a topic to talk about. We we have something to to discuss. Uh, today we have a different topic. Let's say uh, the previous uh, episodes, the previous topics that we 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 have discussed. It was uh, a kind of uh, uh, scientific. Mm -hmm. uh, but today, you may say that we, we, we have a social uh, topic. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yes, uh, this is uh, the sixth uh, episode of our uh, program, The Libyan Digest. Stay tuned, guys. This, t this episode is a bit different, as you said, because the previous ones were mostly about the pan pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, the conflict in Libya itself, the war. Today we want it to be more fresh, more youthful, yes. more motivational. Uh, like we want to go further than we did before. Like today, uh, as you know, Libya is uh, how to say it, it's becoming uh, like a negative place mm -hmm. because all you vibes. hear about, yeah, it gives mm. negative vibes. Yes, all you hear about now is either coronavirus, COVID nineteen or war, what side are you on, uh, what did you do, who died, who, who is sick and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, today we want to talk about youth, what they do, what they should like look at, because you know uh, the, the last episode was about uh, children? No, no, the last episode was about uh -huh. uh, te technology. Technology, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, step by step, children, technology, and yes. today youth and hobbies. Okay, yes, yes. not just hobby, hobbies because some people will listen to the episode and say, <laughs> Is it the time of hobbies? Mm -hmm. Really, Libya, Libyans? Mm -hmm. No, no, it, it's about Libya, the environment, Libyan env environment. Okay, because yeah, it's not the time for hobbies, it's not the time to look at luxury, luxurious mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. However, when is it the right time to do so? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, so uh, today we are going to, to talk about youth and, and, and the role uh, of youth uh, during the conflicts. As, as you have mentioned, we, we, we have the war, we have the pandemic, uh, we, we, we have uh, a non-stable, uh, uh, let's say, situation in, in our country. So we, we are going to focus on, 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 on these points about, about the youth in general. Mm -hmm. Well, as every episode, we have uh, a guest and we discuss with the guest what we are uh, proposing as a topic. Today we have Mohand Al Hassan, as I can call a photographer and mm -hmm. uh, an ambitious, uh, an ambitious citizen. <laughs> okay, hello, Mohand. Welcome to our episode. For today, uh, the Libyan Digest. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, Lamine. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Uh, and it brings a lot of good memories seeing you guys together here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, yes, uh, youth during the conflict, uh, during the, uh, the non stable situation, as, as we, we have mentioned at the beginning of this uh, podcast. So, uh, from where we are going to start to talk about. The, the the hard times the uh, let's say the difficulties we we have in our country relating uh, youth in general well uh, nothing is heading i mean uh, 
us as youth uh, and the young people of this country, um, we faced and we still face a lot of hard times, uh, a lot of problems. Most of them, I can say, uh, can be psychological. And um, uh, the, the other part of these problems are actually um, opportunities and what opportunities is available for us. Um, when I speak my thoughts here, uh, I see that a lot of... Uh, psychological problems here uh, actually affecting uh, with bad vibes on our youth community uh, especially with the, the ongoing war also the coronavirus um, mm. I see a lot of um, bad vibes that is actually spreading around here mm. ab- around the youth uh, uh, in general mm-hmm. so uh, the problem is uh, psychological as youth how can we uh, deal mm. with, uh, with with this issue yes it's not mainly uh, psychological of course but um, i mean like uh, on ground there's a lot of problems we can see here every day uh, but the way we're gonna deal with this problems uh, uh, or how you're gonna deal with this problem is uh, uh, it's not this the same way I'm gonna deal with it you're gonna deal with it or anybody else gonna deal with it. there's always something that you want to do mm-hmm. uh, especially especially um, I can talk about hobbies or um, if you have anything uh, dreams or whatever I mean like any opportunities that are available to you you should dream take jobs let's say mm-hmm. uh, professions uh, Exactly. Yeah, talent even. Mm. Well, okay, I have like a question. Uh, a lot of people say it's Libya. It's the reason why. Is it really the place you are mm. born in that stops you from like doing whatever you want to do, hobbies, talents, uh, achieving your dream? Yes. Um, actually, I've been talking about this uh, last night or the couple of last nights during the blackout mm-hmm. uh, in the city. Uh, the environment outside of work or outside of your play, place of, ho- of hobby or mm-hmm. anything is more important than the place you actually work in mm-hmm. or the place you uh, practice your hobby in. I mean, the surrounding community is not actually helping. It's uh, spreading yeah. negative vibes, as I said. Uh, per for instance, if you're working in a bank, uh, the the vibes or the energy outside of the bank, the the psychological status of you of going to going to rest at your home, uh, knowing that you're doing a blackout or you're gonna go into a blackout. Yeah. I mean, it's frustrating. Yes, uh, that's what I'm talking about. The 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 psychological status. I keep I keep seeing this word a lot today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I'm 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 only trying to emph- do more emphasis about the this. This no. matter. Yeah. Okay. I would sound very, let's say, illusional if I say, uh, no, these things don't stop you. Uh, no, you can do better. You can be positive. You can be, because I cannot like advise people to do that even if I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. However, I've seen so many experiences of people changing their surrounding. Like people, as you, as a person, where you adjust to whatever uh, like community you are in, community can adjust to whatever person you are. Well, I've seen these experiences of people being in a work environment where it's really negative. They just want to do work and go home and just get it done and go home. No one cares about you. Yeah. People have changed that. Mm-hmm. People have made communities inside of work where you just can't wait to go to work i know people say i'm delusional but no (laughs) these things happen i've seen people do that yes they change their lifestyle they promise people of drinking uh, coffee together uh listening uh, sending each other like links of things they are interested uh, at they start wanting wanting to go to work uh, to a very positive community in a very positive Mm -hmm. environment Therefore, what I'm saying is, I don't know if I distracted you guys, but, but what I'm saying is, like, do your thing and let the flow go. Mm-hmm. Let the things adjust to you. You yeah. do not have to always adjust to the, your environment. E- yeah. If you, even if you have a, um, uh, a goal you set, you, you're going to that goal, or you, you're ambitious about something, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, like, blocking these kind of energies mm-hmm. is way simple than you think. It's not that hard to block these in- this energy. And uh, talking about work environment, even though if you work in a work environment that is toxic, yeah. uh, there's always ways or um, you could block the energy or block the toxic 
people around you is i mean like uh, for uh, at the end of the day it's work you're going you're going home i mean you're not go- you're not saying or sleeping at, at work yeah. mm-hmm. um moreover about this uh um work environment thing or um uh, en- p- I mean like uh, negative uh, energy around mm-hmm. uh, opportunities show up every day in, even in Libya I mean like uh, believe yeah. it or not opportunities in Libya are more than outside of uh, countries mm-hmm. talking about Europe when people think or America yeah, yeah. where people think there's a lot of opportunities of work over there Libya here has more opportunities than any place on yes. earth I mean everything is new everything people do um, or open lately a couple of li- in these couple of years is new to us as Libyans even though we see I've seen it outside of Libya yeah. but most things here are new I mean like most ideas here people have create c- created uh, actually work and they uh, they do a lot of make they make a lot of profit yeah Uh, of, the, of, the, of these things yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's what people don't realize is and, and, and especially youth even though they're youth they should be like knowing things about the world is that you can be your own freelancer you can start you know how people stay say like start small start step by step and everything yes. in Libya that that is easy to happen Uh, it like doesn't cost much, actually. It does, yeah, it doesn't cost that much. Yeah, yeah. It just do publicity and everything. Yeah, and everything. I mean, like we have, we're a like, small community. Yeah, we let's be honest. We have Instagram. We have Facebook. Yes. Yeah, uh, for free. Nowadays, people are on Twitter a lot in Libya lately. Mm-hmm. Uh, making, um, I believe in a saying that goes, um, make a job, don't fight a job. Uh-huh. Right, make your yeah. own job. And making your own job, Basically, you're gonna make a job that you love. Uh, we could go f- further than this. Uh, whatever hobby you like, it always can yes. be a job. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. This is like the how to say. It. This is maybe the dream everyone dreams of, of like making money out of their hobby. Yeah, something they love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, at the beginning, we 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 have talked about uh, hobbies. Uh, let's talk about the, uh, the educational field. Uh, let's talk about uh, university and the, the importance of, of education and the life of uh, youth in, in general. So the, the, the importance of education, the significance of, of this stage in, 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 in the life of youth in, in general, yes. Yeah, um, it's a stage we have, you, we have to go on. Uh, college life is a stage everybody has to go on, even though people don't, don't, don't actually uh, care about their yeah. education. But um, I mean, it's really important stage that you have to go through. Um, even though we have graduated three years ago, I believe, yes. three of us, um, we, uh, I know what we faced three years ago. <laughs> yeah, that will make your tears <laughs> fall down from your eyes right now. But uh, it was a difficult time. We've been a lot of hard times. Uh, uh, I feel really sorry about people who are going to graduate uh, yeah. <laughs> whenever, whenever, whenever school is, uh, is on again. Yeah. But uh, I mean, like, it's, it's, a, it's a hard journey you have to take. Mm-hmm. But believe me or not, you, ha- you will adapt. I, I mean, that's life. You have to adapt. Uh, but the the the, the, um, the thing is, Libya here is uh, way frustrating. And if you graduate, the next day, that you're gonna get depressed. Reality, yes. yeah. The <laughs> reality, reality hits you hard. hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but as I said, one of the uh, old episodes of another program, I yes. believe, uh, you have to start thinking of what's after graduation before, before even you graduate yeah 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 uh which takes us again to hobbies or find um, creating your own job and your yes. own passion yeah um but here in, in our society after graduation is always frustrating i see a lot of friends that have graduated or they're gonna graduate uh they all set their eyes on jobs that mm-hmm. um i mean they they don't get paid good yeah. and they uh, underestimate their potentials and finally they get hired in the in wrong place yeah mm. well uh, mentioning education i think youth especially male males are not aware of the importance importance of graduating importance mm-hmm. of having a certificate that t- that says they have graduated they have gone through the journey of college and everything because they see people Mm -hmm. do their own thing without even graduating like freelancing and everything 
uh, and they make your money out of it without even going to college. Well, this, I guess, it, it could be even considered a, a humanitarian because as uh, you know that there are girls that are not aware of their uh, educational rights. Sometimes guys are not aware of their educational rights. They think it's something luxurious or luxurious. They just, why would I need it if I'm making money? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not sure how to advise people about that, but like, do not miss, miss such journey, okay? Mm -hmm. College, high school and everything, especially college, makes you the person you are going to be later. Yes, it's a basic, let's say. Yeah, it's not just about information. Mm -hmm. It's not just it. Uh, it's about the community itself, the people you're gonna hang with, the people you're gonna fight with, yeah. the the like what assignments, pressures, mm -hmm. uh, working under pressure. You can even write working under you pressure in your CV later. <laughs> yeah, you're 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 build building your character in, uh, in college. Yeah. yeah, and trust me, it's not easy to graduate from any place, whatever you're studying, even okay. though you're studying. Uh, I mean, like. Uh, drinking uh, or or eating food if tasting you're studying this ice cream i've yeah. seen this job once yeah. i swear if you're if you're studying this it's gonna be a hard hard job to do uh -huh. but uh, college is not easy so um, uh, that's gonna build your character if you're a hard person or hard working person you will be you will see yourself as a hard working or a hard studying student in college that will reflect your uh, that will reflect in your uh, character yeah. after graduation um it, it would show how hard you are after graduation, especially as I said or mentioned. It's it's, it's a it's a kind of a depression uh, time. You, we're gonna go. You're gonna go yeah. through after graduation. Uh, but the ideas that you have or the plans you you actually uh, start to write after graduation uh, may be uh, not this they may be not the same plans that you, you you've seen mm -hmm. before graduation because yeah. uh, the 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 whole environment will change uh, upon your eyes and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of um, information or ideas you thought uh, they're true or they're they're right will be uh, you you have you start having second thoughts because uh, once you graduate, as you said, Aisha, the reali reali your reali <laughs> reality, reality, yeah, <laughs> your reality will change, and it will hit you hard. But um, I can go on and on about yeah, after yeah. graduation. Some people say the the stage after gra after graduation is work. Some say some see the the stage after graduation is marriage, mm -hmm. and uh, mm. yes. uh, depending on your uh, mentality. Uh, which of these stages you're gonna you, you're gonna invest yeah you invest in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's uh, talk about balancing between uh, uh, your hobbies like in Libya let's and your, say. your own job your, your own job and your hobby what you're passionate about can you make mm -hmm. your passion your job mm -hmm. and so on okay yeah. well uh, honestly let us let us not be uh, too cruel about this uh, you have to at least experience the the nine to five or nine to two job mm -hmm. yeah. before you you actually start uh, doing something new. Because um, honestly, that's that's the basic uh, of after graduation. You have mm -hmm. to find a job. Uh, or even if you had the had the uh, uh, your own job after uh, before graduation, uh, this stage of having a job or working under uh, somebody. It's not about ha having money or working under somebody, but it's about experience. Yeah. Uh, but balancing between this, your your day job on your uh, part-time job, like for my, in my case, photography, is way important mm -hmm. uh, and it's way difficult at the same time because you're gonna be uh, exhausted at the end of the day mm -hmm. uh, yeah. after nine, or after five, after nine hours of work or six hours of work, you're gonna be frust frustrated and exhausted and uh, having the, the 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 power to go on and keep going on for your your part-time job it needs a lot of uh, yeah courage it's so say. challenging it's very challenging especially if it's as you said nine to five or nine to two because you have to balance between your social life mm -hmm. your uh, your social life your, family. your yeah your health Maybe you want to go to gym. Maybe you want to do something. You want to sleep eight hours. Can you sleep eight hours? Maybe sometimes you want to waste time. You want to watch a movie. 
you want to cook something do you have the energy to do so do you still have the energy to do so or like to ha to live your life yeah well we've all been like the three of us here we've all been through this we've been through the depression after graduation where you where you just don't have anything to do and you say what's next or why am i not getting like the opportunities i should get i am so good at uh, this is yeah. me by the way Li okay? life is not fair this is me speaking okay <laughs> i'm really good why am i not getting any opportunities and all that mm -hmm. however you will get there mm -hmm. it just it needs a little bit patience in a matter of time yeah and it needs work you do not just sit at home and just wait for opportunities to come. Mm -hmm. Like work even before graduating. I always <coughs> say that to people, especially girls, okay? Work before graduation. Graduation. Whatever it is, just go for it. it. It will benefit you later, you know? Therefore, I'm just saying the balance should be there even before graduating. Mm -hmm. Like, like you will not, ima you cannot imagine the amount of energy that the humans have it's just you need to adjust to it sleep well eat well mm -hmm. and just go mm -hmm. go for it you know yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> motivating people today <laughs> <laughs> and, and and this matter maybe what what he what aisha has has, has mentioned uh, everyone is is looking for for his identity Every, everyone is looking for his uh, special uh, character so uh, i think some has has discovered uh, uh, this essence, let's say, uh, before graduation, and and some has discovered uh, this after graduation. For me, for some example, some have, ha, some haven't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's just say, it. just trying. You know? It's not a majority. It's yeah. it's, it's a special case. Mm -hmm. But for me, I I have discovered things uh, after graduation uh, uh, because um, I have discovered that I I have to 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 improve myself and mm -hmm. and other sides. I I. I my concentration let's be honest it uh, it was uh, about my specialization in of english course, yeah. so uh, there was a gap there there wasn't a balance we, we have talked about balance mm -hmm. so uh, this is the issue i think what do you think man about this balancing between uh, or improving uh, yes about improving yeah improving your uh, your field or mm -hmm. your uh, whatever you're interested in um it, uh, i believe it will happen automatically if you are if you're mm. interested in something yeah. you will always be keep you'll keep up you'll keep yourself updated about uh in my case mm. photography mm. um i'm always i'm always interested in, in what's new mm. wh what gear is new wh what's what's what lens is, uh, is 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 out in out there in the market so i'm always keeping myself updated uh automatically cuz i'm actually uh, in love in uh, in, in, yes, th in this uh, in this in this thing so um um, whatever you're interested in, uh, you, you will find yourself. Even yeah. though if you if you don't uh, think you're interested in something, you'll find yourself ev always up updated and always in, uh, looking for something uh, related to related it. to it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of uh, personal experiences, okay. For me, maybe you found your passion, photography, and everything. For me, I think I found it in trying. I mm. just tried. I tried everything. You guys will like. Mm. Okay. The same I case. tried. Yeah, I tried drawing, painting. I went to classes of drawing, and uh, I, I don't want to even talk about it. Yes. Photography wasn't my thing from the beginning because, mm -hmm. like, uh, 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 now I like I bought this new phone where they say the camera is really nice and everyone is having the best pictures, and I'm just, I'm not interested. Okay, I just tried it. I tried it. I tried office work. Well, that mm -hmm. worked for me, by the mm -hmm. way. Office work. Uh, I loved it. It just, but you become a robot at some point. Uh, you do not. It doesn't add anything to you after you take everything. I know yes. I'm a selfish person. I took everything from the office work. I learned everything they have, and I added some of what I have. And I thought I think that was it. But I liked office work, by mm -hmm. the way. Uh, translation because we know we're we're yes. all English major. It's nice. It takes you to another world. However, mm. it's so stressful. It's full of deadlines. You have to finish everything on time. And however, yes. it teaches you how to work under pressure and how to be flexible at time and like uh, manage your time. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? What I oh, I tried cooking. I tried making cakes, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're like, you're exploring your career. Yeah, th- this this was the thing, you know. Everyone. It's a good thing, by the way. It's not bad. Yeah, I guess, but just sometimes Libya it puts you at this corner where it says, "Who are you? What mm-hmm. are you do? What do you want to do?" Because everyone are f- after graduation, everyone are figuring their sem- th- like themselves out, either finding like marriage and loving the marriage, uh, marrying life either finding uh, a hobby they do for a living like i know so many girls uh painting selling paintings but let's be honest um, s- some of them is actually uh, uh, uh giving up start from the beginning i mean I've, 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 i see i what i the way i see it going through mm-hmm. a marriage yeah the second after you walk out at the college is actually giving up you're you're just suri- su- su- you're surrendering actually maybe Best but my point of view I'm not okay. judging. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just we, you cannot. You said you're not. You're not judging because everyone goes through their own experience. I have my mm-hmm. own experience, my own community that maybe encouraged me to do so. They don't have the mm-hmm. the community that could encourage them to do so. But after all, or maybe the well, yeah. Yeah. After sorry for interrupting. After uh, mm-hmm. after you, the the painting courses, the the cooking courses, and whatever the, all these. Uh, things you actually tried to learn um you you, you didn't w- walk out of it empty-handed you no, had a lot you have like tons of experiences and a lot of yes. stuff and uh, you did <laughs> just all fields yeah. all fields like yeah. tried everything you, and you did it in how much uh, 14 months two years you, you're you have a lot of experience in 14 months or, yeah. or in a one year you, i mean you've done great well, uh, the way I see it, yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, you've done great. I'm, are you, you motivated people or trying to motivate you? You've yeah, done great. Yeah, that's what I'm saying mm. like to people because at some point I stood there and I was like, where is my passion? What am I mm-hmm. doing? Mm-hmm. What am I experiencing exactly? You have to try. Yeah, therefore I said maybe trying is my passion. I'm mm-hmm. still trying. Mm-hmm. I'm still doing my thing, reflecting my experience on things and, and taking the experience mm-hmm. of uh, things. And F- finding your passion here in Libya is not an easy uh, yeah, job. Yeah, that's mean, like what I'm going to come to, Libya. Okay, Libya is not. Let's say we don't have the let's say supplies or what. You it's know? not an obstacle, by the, the way. Yeah, yeah, mm, I the know. The country is not an obstacle, but I know. the energy that this country gives us uh, is not actually more. You can call, call it motivating. I mean, especially in the couple past past couple of years, mm-hmm. and um, we've been through a lot. And uh, uh, the way I see it, just tr- keeping um, even small amount of positive energy now is huge. Yeah, like yeah. After all, we've been through. Uh, we have done great, I think. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know that. Okay. However, it's just uh, what, uh, what, why don't we, like Libyan society, please listen. Uh, why don't we motivate guys uh, or youth to do things other than war, maybe, other than sitting mm-hmm. at cafes and just yes. mingling? Mm-hmm. Let's do more. I'm not even gonna talk about girls because, uh, guys, it's too much. If I said maybe a girl want to play squash, people would just... It's a squash, right? Mm-hmm. The, the, the mm-hmm. Tennis ball. Yes. I actually like that, but I'm not sure if it's its name. Yes, squash. What if we say a girl wants to play squash? What is your... What's what's your reaction going to be? You're going to laugh. Like, I mean, he's laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's it's. I'm not saying they all want to or I want. It mm. just... I need to know that I have the opportunity to do something. Something, something. Mm-hmm. yes. yes. Like do, do it with the restriction, maybe, with the... I, yeah, of course. Uh, yes. It just, uh, we don't even have... Uh, have In what uh, place you're going to have, place squash. have restrictions, mm-hmm. you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. I'm not just, it's just, not just squash, I'm just saying, um, like, what did we have? We only had maybe uh, photography courses, mm-hmm. which were, like, ex- extremely expensive. Uh, cooking courses cooking courses yeah. extremely expensive and I didn't even do a cake okay <laughs> <laughs> yes what else courses do we have it's just th- there are no options make options for the youth so mm-hmm. they can maybe know that they have they have the opportunity the opportunity to do something yes um, and, and improve the the educational system I think educational system yeah. is one of the, the most important uh, things that we we have in the society and yes. in the country mm-hmm. we, we have to improve it in order to 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 see a lot of good things mm-hmm. yeah yeah and uh, that's why I'm saying just make make options to people 
it will motivate them because I've seen people taking photography classes and now they're working in photography for right. weddings and everything and I've seen things bakery they f- some people made bakeries and they mm-hmm. they're getting, getting paid really good better yeah. than a day job yeah that's what I'm saying the the small opportunities they have or they had made them who they are today imagine if Libya makes options for bigger things other things sports uh what else what do we have else actually like sports hobbies uh, things that we can do here swimming somewhere yeah. there's a lot of things you could do in somewhere yes, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. that includes uh sea and going to yeah, the sea yeah. or beach it's not, it, it's not stopping the youth from doing things mm-hmm. it just maybe if they had more opportunities do they would like rule the world yeah mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Uh, what do you think about uh, having uh, this short break? We are going to to have a short break, and uh, we will complete uh, our discussion. Yeah. Okay. The Libyan Digest. The Libyan Digest is brought to you by the Libyan Observer. again with our topic and our guest for today uh, as we were talking we were talking about how Libya is not the ra- or not helpful uh, helpful is not the proper place for m- for doing your thing uh, following your passion however we all we all know experiences who knew how to do their thing yes for today Mohammed I guess you did your thing you followed your passion you I did believe so. yeah tell us more about it about photography as a beginning yeah, yeah. yeah. my photography days began uh, way too early uh, and exactly around I believe in 2003 uh, my late father was really interested in photography we have tons of cameras at home uh, with a lot of printed uh, the old printed uh, pictures mm-hmm. like we have at least 10,000 or 20,000 of these and they go way wrong he started taking p- pictures from the 60s early 60s I mean mm-hmm. um, and there's a lot of photos and there's a lot of cameras and I grow up in a house community that is actually interested in photography I mm-hmm. believe he bought me my first camera in 2003 it was an old camera of course and uh-huh. that was in I believe in Cairo and uh, it was cheap I said I want a camera I want to take my own pictures they were rubbish but they were my first pictures and yeah. I was like uh, eight years old in 2003 or seven years old and um, uh, that <coughs> this um, this hobby or this thing I'm interested in uh, started to grow up since I owned my first uh, first smartphone in 2007, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, the picture quality was uh, was 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 really rubbish, but I uh, for that time it was good. Yeah, it was good. That time yeah. was good, but I started to build my own hobby, and my own um, interest, uh, interesting uh, uh, pictures and pieces on what I see. And uh, I kept on and on uh, buying a smartphone after one. And at that time, it was only a money making hobby, uh, m- money taking hobby. It's not, mm, uh, not it wasn't making me any any money, it was taking money actually. Um, but what, 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 at what time I actually started uh, trying to improve myself and put more money on this hobby, that was in 2013. Uh, again, my dad bought me my first camera, uh, my first uh, DSLR camera, and I took care of lenses. I bought for my own money. I bought uh, three lenses, and then I was broke uh, for a lot of time because they were actually expensive. And um, at that time, I was actually interested in vintage pictures or classic p- pictures, what also people know as Visco filters, mm-hmm. uh, Visco. Uh, films that was a whole community uh, on Instagram uh, I believe Instagram did a lot of improvement on my um, 
and my photography because I was seeing a lot of good work outside of Libya. Even in Libya, there's a lot of names here. I remember from 2013, they were actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, ViscoCam was actually uh, uh, free on App Store and uh, Google Play. So I started my my own interest in uh, interest in uh, this kind of on this type of pictures and uh, Instagram was the platform and uh, believe it or not in 2013 I had around 4Ks and Instagram was just launching uh, two years ago one year ago so people actually really liked it in Libya here even even outside of Libya so um, mm. I had a lot of good energy uh, about photography and uh, I believe I did a uh, at one of the um, language language uh, language skills too uh -huh. in college, I uh -huh. believe one of the uh, professors there uh, said to me, "You could make a lot of money out of that." I was uh, um, uh, the the first idea came through my mind: how how on earth I'm uh -huh. gonna make money of taking pictures? Yeah. Uh, I didn't for the past couple uh, the, uh, for the uh, upcoming two years didn't make any 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 cent out of this hobby uh so actually started taking more money because uh always there's that new lens Ooh. that's the new thing you you, you need to buy <coughs> but uh in around 2016 i started to take this thing seriously and uh i started to switch to more professional cameras more professional lenses and started to get into um uh, more interesting um, uh, ideas. I started uh, advertising, taking pictures of whatever I can uh, make uh, money out of. Actually, uh, uh, especially I was uh, I was studying, so that made a lot of difference. That made really that really helped me in that. And um, during this upcoming years in 2017, 18, um, I I took pictures of a lot of things I, I i filmed weddings i um uh, i shot advertising photos for uh, restaurants coffee shops um stores i mean you name it uh the chances are i took pictures of that place mm -hmm. e around even around Masrat and um, my f my m one number my phone number was uh, was uh, handed out to fo of to store owners and uh I found myself uh, taking two to three calls every week. Mm -hmm. But lately in 2019, um, I thought I should take it to the next step. Uh, the next step was for me, because uh, um, uh, photography was a hobby, so I was really interested in photography. The next step f for me was filmmaking and uh -huh. video or cinema photography. And that needed a lot of money. That needed a lot of work to actually get the proper laptop, the proper gear for uh, for a camera, the proper gimbal, also camera. I had to change that, uh, all of that, to change the lenses also. And uh, filmmaking or cinema photography was actually a huge game changer for me, because I went uh, from zero to one hundred in in just just in just a couple of weeks. My first video or my first professional video was not that good actually, but it got me a lot of uh, work yeah. and uh, I found myself actually scheduling um, uh, photo sessions and uh, uh, for two months ahead and I, I still have photo sessions uh, this week, the week after and it's, uh, it's not a part time job because uh, sometimes you have to take the whole day off just to take take uh, take shots or film something for uh, for somebody and um it went really it's it's going even it's going until well. now it's going really excellent mm -hmm. i'm making tons of uh, f yeah. money out of it and this gets us to the point yeah. of, of saying start small mm. it just step by step <coughs> as you heard like Mohammed said it took money from him it, he did not get money yeah. Uh, at, the f at the beginning. Yes. That's why start small. Uh, this is like an advice for, for everyone. Just step by step, and everything will just take its turn. You will get there. Yes, too. and and uh, w what uh, what has inspired me uh, personally, the the support of, of his father. He yeah. he, mm -hmm. he believes in, uh, in 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 the talent of Muhammad. Let's say. And and yes, this is an advice for 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 parents all yes yeah. for for the parents and to 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 invest yeah. uh, something in in, in in their children. So this is an important factor. Yeah.
uh, I guess that's I thought of that too when uh, he talked yes, about yes. The, his father is that parents really have a big role in their in their children's not just children even the youth uh, the especially youth. Libyan parents yeah yeah I know negativity is taking yes. over it's yes. taking over however it's never too late to m- implement something well I guess uh, thank you Mohand for the lovely story uh, n- not just lovely <laughs> the yes. motivational story Uh, I hope you get better and better and like you, you achieve your goal. Yeah. Also, you, I mean, I hope thank you achieve your goal. Thank you I for hope ha- I achieve my goal yes, too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Th- thank you for yes. having me. It's always a pleasure. Thanks. Yes. Uh, so uh, this is our message. Yeah. Uh, youth, I think, uh, they they have the energy. They mm. have the they ambitions. Uh, they 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 can recover, but uh, do not use, let's say, youth just for for war. Yeah. Uh, you they they can change they can uh, uh, do abnormal they things. They can make their own opportunity. Yes, yes. So mm-hmm. this is our message uh, for 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 today. For today, yeah. Y- yes. Well, thank you guys for for today's uh, like wonderful episode, motivational episode. I I can feel the good vibes today yes. in the studio. It's a discussion. It's a discussion. It's not investigating. We, yes. <laughs> no, it's it's not a it's a discussion. No, Let's say it's a, it's, it's a, just it's a discussion. Yes, yeah. 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 chatting is more informal, mate. Yeah. So this is our podcast for for today. Yeah. Uh, I hope whoever listens to it uh, gets motivated as we yes. did today yes. and start making their own opportunities. Thank you guys for listening, and I um, guess that's it for today. Yes, yeah. goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stay safe. The Libyan Digest. The Libyan Digest is brought to you by the Libyan Observer.